Hello friends, welcome to the Codable Protocol series in iOS Swift. Uh, today we are going to learn about the Codable Protocol, how uh, the things work. Then we will deal with different keys in JSON which are not exactly as our model. Then complex JSON, then we will go to encoder where we will have to convert the structure class into a JSON and send it to a service. And finally we will be dealing with the snake cases where sometimes we have underscores in the response key and uh, uh, we have to parse that as well. This may be uh, an old topic uh, uh, as uh, Apple uh, launched in uh, Swift 4 I guess and uh, uh, from that uh, uh, there are certain tutorials on internet but uh, I couldn't find a single tutorial where everything is covered many of the tutorials only cover uh, only the structure of the JSON they don't cover the container thing or some only cover decoders they are not converting they are not uh, sorry uh, covering the encoders so I think the best way to start is to code so what is codable codable is nothing but uh, uh, type alias in Apple uh, it's a type alias means the mixture of both protocols decodable and encodable so decodable and encodable are two protocols introduced by apple uh, to help in parsing of json and also to convert the data back to json from a structure or class so encodable has a encode method here where you know if you are uh, using the encodable protocol uh, in a structure or class you might require this encode function to write and similar similarly we have decodable and we have a constructor here where you know sometimes what happens that we the conditions are not same and all the keys are not exactly as per the model so we have to you know uh, overwrite this constructor and we have to write something in this constructor so that you know when we are uh, making uh, we are calling this constructor from json decoder object so it works accordingly what is written inside this constructor fine so uh, we should try practically first then we'll see uh, what goes on so first of all I'll write a simple fetch function uh, which will fetch the API data and I'll pass a URL and we have a completion handler here which will return uh, data that is an optional data only I'll, I'll returning only the data because I'm assuming that I will be getting a data uh, or I will be getting nil I won't be working on response here this uh, completion handler will return a void and uh, this will be an escaping closure like so fine we will take the URL session shared data task with URL I have certain URLs here uh, there is a site called my JSON where we can just uh, write our JSON and convert it into a get service basically so I'll working on I will be working on the get service thing and here I will be working on these three services uh, so let's start let me complete this method data task with the URL and we will be needing this completion handler thing so URL will be the URL object will be made from the URL string which is passed in the parameter and bank since I know that it will be a string uh, which is not empty data response error and just a completion with data that's it we'll resume this in order to initiate the task and I will be calling this on viewed load fetch and the URLs will be this so this service returns nothing just a very small JSON with a key as name and age as uh, integer and uh, uh, in the name we have a string so this is a very simple response 
so it's a dictionary with two keys so let's write this service here and uh, let's have our data here if like data equal to data fine I'm just going to print the data it will just print some bytes information I guess okay I believe I got the data okay so I got the data yeah 29 bytes fine so this is in data format and we have to convert in a usable user readable format so earlier what we used to do we used to have a JSON serialization class which helped us to you know convert everything in as per our needs but now I won't be using that I will be using a decoder so first of all we have to make a model for this JSON so I'll just make a simple model foo and I have this JSON so we have to give the two attributes one is age one is name age is integer and uh, name is string fine I will be using decodable here you can also use codable uh, then your structure is eligible for both the encoding and decoding thing but for the time being I am using decodable here uh, now let's parse this data uh, into a readable format I'll write JSON decoder I'll make an object of this and I'll write decode foo dot self so this is how we write uh, uh, if we want to convert the complete structure of API into our native model structure and the data is data so this uh, is a throwable uh, method uh, so we'll try we'll write in do try catch it's always a be best practice to write in do try catch otherwise you can also write uh, by using try with an optional sign but obviously you need an exception that what went wrong so probably you can switch back to try uh, optional depending on your need but I uh, always uh, advise to write in a try cache block uh, which makes sure that what actually the error is if it comes in cache block okay so here is a foo and I'll just print the JSON nothing else so let's run this now okay so we have successfully passed our JSON so we have a test name here and we have age 20 that's perfect now uh, let's suppose I change the name of this particular uh, name one or maybe first name this particular attribute what will happen will it lead to a crash will it lead to a exception will it go in a catch block yes it will go in a catch block uh, let me put a debugger here to show okay so we are in the catch block and the error is uh, that the data couldn't be read because it is missing so what is missing first name is missing we don't find first name in our JSON structure so it is missing we have name so uh, the thing to note is that I have given the same name uh, what are uh, there in what are there present in the rest API in our model in our structure model so if you change the name and that uh, name is not present in the API then probably it will lead to this uh, uh, exception thing what if I remove the age factor here I remove the age attribute what will happen it will work completely fine because uh, we don't have an age thing and but we have age in our rest API we are not parsing it no worries 
uh, what what we want is like you know there sometimes what happens like we have a very very large json or we just need one or two properties or maybe three or four properties so it's perfectly valid in json encoder thing that uh, whatever you want you can just map it and uh, that will only be uh, decoded so no need to worry that if the json is completely big you have to parse each and every key what whatever you want only that key is required for the complete decoding thing and your decoder will succeed in that case so no worries in that so you can obviously uh, write anything in that uh, but make sure that the name of the key is same the key which is received in the api response is name and this should be similar as this name age should be similar as this age okay uh fine that's it for this particular video in the next video we will be having uh, a different key json and in that key json we will not be having the same name as this model class and i will be uh, telling you that how we will be dealing in those cases so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching if you have any suggestions or any questions leave it in comment box thank you so much